for morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always, and I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today has come to kind of sucks her. Tokon Bayaka still refused to show up. Um, and I haven't seen Miss Shina anywhere. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh. That is rather unusual for her. Normally she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. So it's just the seven of us then. It looks that way. How about that? It's time like this when the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. Yeah, he's still torn up about Monda. Impossible. Or not. Poor Taka. Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at his guy. One look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then having to watch Mondo get punished. And nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well, you can't, because it happened to Thingy Bob. Um, not secure. Oh shit, Sonia. No? Sonia, I'm getting. I can't remember. First one who died. So, I mean, what's going to happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea of how he's even going to come. Mm. It's like. Now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things. Do our best to get along and live here up here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well... Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, and if we need a cinto, why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> in fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence? As society goes, so does its perversion. Perversion. In which case, is our current situation not... <laughs> Game and Angel, pretty pretty... Pr pretty pretty princess! Oh, Here we go. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god, this is so like oh so good. oh yeah. <laughs> Making this girl shop owner to bring you a gamakin caco god boy robo justice Jackie King and um <laughs> Why well, I mean it's just no two D here! There is nothing to be done. The master man actually if you look around this whole game is to D fuck with the mastermind put such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well anyway, since Taka's like catatonic, <laughs> as the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. We are all fucked. So, we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right. What I mean, since class trial is over and all. Perhaps. There should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well then. Then, once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> hmm. There may well be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Err, um. uh, no. The point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. Hello, Toko. You called for me, so I'm oh. here. Genocide! What? Ah, ah, nobody called for you. Uh, um. What the? How come it's genocide here and not Toko? Yes. Good. God, this place is just amazing! Finally, a place I can just be my mother self! Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings! No more hiding in a cave for me! 
best I have never battled to fight. The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. Oh, if I fight all day and night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um. I know it's, that's kind of a guy voice, but fuck it. It's just like the most chaotic, and I just have more fun doing it, so. Fuck it, yeah. But you're a killer with a split personality. <laughs> if she weren't here, my chance of survival would be at least go up at each 10%. Come on, you gotta get back at me here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> well, whatever we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> and also, just get the fuck away from her. Fuck it now. So, we are forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after our much needed but very annoying meal, we set off to work, we set to work looking around the school. Right, let's go to the third floor then. The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're going to find this time. What's up here? Um, right, so let's do... The classrooms. And we'll go left to right, like usual. Just like everywhere else, the windows in this classroom are blocked off with pieces of metal. Reality slips far away. Fiction comes alive. We start to play. Hope there's no more behind the closed door as we drift away from where we were before. Hope and hopelessness become one. It's all meaningless. We've already begun. Yup, we are all one and the same. Never rob since we played the same game. Walk the line between hope and despair. Running from the truth, but it's already here. Told so many lies, I don't know if they can find me. Only one life to live, so choose wisely. Heads and tails, they even know beside you on. Doesn't really matter if it's on the same coin. If you want to achieve, you gotta believe the time right now. There's the door is the key. Hmm, so this is Let's see. a recreation room, a place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, no normal school would. It has a fellow sogai, even a dartboard and pool table. And look at this. They even have provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring ring ring! Hello there! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion motorcycle! We've got fashion motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, and all kind of magazines! Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. Oh wow. So then. And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. Sorry, no can do. Even if we wanted to, right now magazines are kind of kind of what? Watch out! Whoops. Nothing. Never mind. No, no, no. Anyway, that's it for my expandation. Bye, bye. <laughs> What he just said. I know, right? It bothers me too. Most Life here would be that much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. But really?
No, not leave the area. Yeah, I thought that'd be it, but I wanted to double check. That wasn't a room that extended on. This monster's really out everywhere. That's not the point. Da -da -da -da. Right, so something behind her with surveillance camera. Right, okay. Let's talk to Celeste. There is nothing to be done. It is rather unfortunate about the magazines, but still. <laughs> I do believe our lives will improve as signific in sig oh, fuck. significantly. There we fucking go. Thanks to this little hideaway. It's not really a hideaway because fucker can still see us. As a copy, as a copy of all fire, I'm pretty bad at it though. Yeah, don't know why I went East London, but you never know. Might need it. A pool table isn't normal school equipment. Is this thanks to Monokuma? Or did the school buy it? A firm looking leather couch. It looks pretty uncomfortable. Oh no, pretty comfortable even. That's, that's not fucking out my reading today. Uh. There's even a dartboard. Did Monokuma put this here? Or was it always part of the school? Well, that he definitely added. And he's probably added all this because they're possible murder items. So, darts, you can dart someone in the head. Pull table Q. Well, pull Q, you can up their face or up their mouth and just flat it through or up their arse and make it go through the other end. Um, lots of things, really that you can do with a pool cue to kill someone. There are all different kinds of magazines here on the shelf. They even have a bunch of monthly comics. But without getting regular updates, what's the point? This looks like some kind of bottle. But what the heck is it? It's chest, look. Maybe it's just for decoration or something. No, it's chest, look. You got pawn, you got castle, you got knight. I think Castle was actually Bishop. You got the King and Queen, and then the other one. I can't remember. I only remember the Knight in fucking Pawn, because it's the shit one, and the one with all, like, the medieval one. Wow, well, it's all a bit medieval. But I don't know, it just looks better. Whereas the others look like sculptures. I don't know. Anyway, maybe it's just for decoration or something. There's a table here. It's kind of similar to the desks in the classroom, but also kind of not. What a useful piece of inside fat words. It's a beat up old locker. Doesn't seem especially important right now, so I don't need to open it. There's a body inside. <laughs> there probably isn't. But there might be in the future, you never know. There's got to be some reason. That or it has a clue about the other side bit. Either way. It would seem... So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art Ooh. room. I also found a huge machine of some kind in a physics lab. I wonder what it does. Don't know what it's going to find out, shall we? What's this go? Where's this fucking go? Art room. Right here. Right it in. At first glance, this looked like any normal art room. But something about it seems off, or multiple things. Well, that would be the Monokuma statue, but hang on. And whatever the fuck that is. Let's talk to Hifumi first. <laughs> wow, wow, you can get your quick money, showing you stress, you get artistic, is your mind. You mean your fetish, itch? You fucking freak. Our sculptures, of course, but they're also... They've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. 
So, Fumi, did you like the sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to cookie, but figures are like borderline cookie, so it's okay. No, they're not. They're not borderline 2D. They're models, so they're 3D. Christ. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm a very Cambo pumpkin head, and I especially more anything is Cambo Ryan Pongy, I'm gonna die, make Carambo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite. I've seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkin head is like a sp little sculpture fairy, representing this century's greatest quality. Cambo Ryan Pongy? <laughs> Such a stupid. Ron Ping Pong, meanwhile, is known for his Mecca Mahumi series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as a elite four. But, but, one of your elite is missing. You know nothing. Wait, he freaks you sound stupid now, doesn't yes, it? But I got empty sleep. Right, it belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as a legendary warrior of the century. <laughs> I see. Well, good luck with that. Shit, that was me. Oops. This is a statue of Neo. I've never really looked at it. I've never really heard of anyone using a Neo statue for life drawing classes or whatever. That's not part of it. It's a locker. It doesn't seem like there's anything inside. These lockers have got to have something to do with something at some point. Oh, obviously. I mean, fuck, that was a bit vague. It's a Venus statue. Yep. Definitely very art roomy ish. Art room ish. What else do you want me to look at? I see Apollo's. No, Venus here. My bad. Oh, those two. Okay. I see now. There are paintings lying in the walls. Is this really art? Just looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. It actually looks like primary school artwork. But this is a horsey, and this is a cow. And this is my mummy getting charged up by my daddy, because, oh, no, it's not your dad, cross it out. It's, it's a happy picture, not one of domestic violence. Even here in the art room, there's a monitor. There's not much point in worrying about it now. I should just try to forget about it. Finish with this room and then we'll go. Right, Monokuma statue. Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Here he comes. Still, the quality is surprising. Oh no, maybe not. It's different. We didn't have. Oh, 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 all of you! What do you mean I'm not beautiful? Even though. Even here, there's a surveillance camera. I should just ignore it, but I can't seem to help myself. I have to streak in front of it. I need those views. There's something odd. This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. 